What's up guys? I'm here today because uh, my cat wants to be here. Hey guys, this is Johnny D from Neverwick and I'm here today because I want to take you behind the scenes of how I created the lyric video for Trapped Inside. When I say that I created the lyric video, I really do mean that. The guys in the band and I are much more than just musicians. When it comes down to it, we are artists and we like to create no matter where that may be. It really helps us to express ourselves in such a busy world today where you gotta manage your social media, manage the content you put out, when is your song going up, etc. So yeah, it really helps us to be who we are and put more into our music and give it really what we feel the music deserves. So we're gonna go ahead and step in the first scene here and this is where a lot of the action takes place. This is the head house lady. We're gonna, we'll just call her, we'll call her Leota because a lot of people think that this resembles the Haunted Mansion, Disney's Haunted Mansion where I don't really know where they get the resemblance but whatever, that's fine. Whenever you have an idea in your head and you know how you want it to look, rarely does it ever come out exactly how you imagined it. And in this case, Leota is pretty spot on. Really like what I wanted, I didn't want her to have any emotion at all. I wanted her to look almost numb. And as it goes up her face, it starts to turn into paneling for the house. And the house almost looks like it is swallowing her. And it really came out nicely because it captures that essence of being numb and feeling trapped and not knowing what to do. One rule that I made sure that I abided by whenever I was creating Leota was to make sure that there were actually no exits to the mansion. Uh, yeah, there are some doors here and there on top. You can see like right here, there's another door over here and back here, but they all lead back into each other. There's no way to actually leave Leota. And I wanted to make sure that that was represented because that's the concept of trapped inside. It's being trapped inside of your head and you can't escape. And uh, something interesting up here, this piece on top, I thought that I was just taking creative liberty. Like I didn't know exactly if it was something that was to code, but I did figure out that it actually is to code. It is called a widow's walk, which is a badass name. And it was created so that uh, women could stand up on top of their house and wait for their husbands to return home. These houses were usually built on the coast. That's what it said. I don't know if it's true or not, but. But yeah, like all the windows that you see here and all the ornamentation, it was followed to code per se. Uh, I, I did follow the Victorian Domestic Architectural Plans and Details book that I have here. It was just really cool because I was getting into this world. I wasn't just creating a lyric video for a song. I was building something that represented the song and it was giving the song so much more. This is an earlier draft of her. And you can see as we move along, it evolves into what it ended up being. Um, and it's just interesting to see that process. Yes, she did have long hair at one time, but I ended up taking it out because it added, uh, it ended up being too delicate. And I wanted that raw emotion. I wanted that raw nothingness to be there. So I ended up taking that out. Uh, we did bring down some of the windows that were present on top of the house and kind of like melted her. It's almost like a dolly effect. It, it attaches to the skin. Um, and then George had the idea for the ivy actually, and I'm so glad that he brought that idea in because uh, you can see I added that and had it grow up and uh, it dirtied up the house a bit and that's where we ended up. What we're looking at here is actually the verse of the song. This is the long hallway where the camera's kind of blasting through and it's like almost like a roller coaster and zipping through all the words are flying in. Um, it's just one big loop. And uh, I created a hallway and I kind of just, I put it on this curve so it just really acts like a, like a roller coaster. Now let me just zoom in here to the camera. As you can see here, there's a lot of stuff that we haven't really featured too much on because the camera's going so fast, but there are these assets that are on the side here. There's some like dummies modeling dummies. There is like a little baby right here, actually. It's kind of creepy. But I really wanted to make sure that all those assets were in there throughout the hallway because even though that you don't get to focus on them, they make it legit, they make it real, and they add a lot because if it's just an empty hallway, it doesn't have any personality. And while you don't get to focus on it, uh, it's something that brings you into that world even more, whether you believe it or not. If you have noticed it, bonus points to you, but to those who have not, this file name is actually called Inside Manor Loop. 
Hell yeah. And the reason why I called it that way is because when I was creating this, I had no idea if this piece was going to work. Uh, but when I put the camera in there and it started floating through the hallway, I got so excited that I screamed, hell yeah. There you go. What we have next is the pre-chorus room and that's where the hallway ends. And I remember telling the guys, I want the camera to fly in and like crash into a wall and then like look down and up and the floor be like torn open. And you can see that there are definitely some assets here that are not focused upon whenever you the camera is in there because there's only so much that you can fit in the lyric video, but you can see there's definitely some stuff flying around here. Baby. The reason why this looks all gray is because I'm actually not rendering anything right now. This is just like the solid setting. If I did try to put the textures on these pieces, uh, my computer would probably explode. It almost had exploded many times throughout this entire process, but we just got through it. And of course, I never would have been able to do any of this without the unending support of my quarantine buddy right here. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. We appreciate it. We hope that you enjoyed the song. We hope you enjoy the video. We just wanted to give you a behind the scenes to show you everything that gets put into the process. Um, we hope to see you soon. Peace out.